It's real southern right now. We got Dukes. We got Daisies. It's all gravy. Hey guys, it's grilling season, and even though we ain't grilling today, I bet you got some burgers that need some cheese on them. Today, we're getting real cheesy. Two types of cheese, two types of peppers. We're making pimento cheese. And we're slathering it on top of a delicious burger. We took our peppers and we roasted them on the side burner until the skin got charred and black. Then we proceed to take them and place them in a glass bowl and cover with saran wrap. Once they've steamed for about three or four minutes, you can remove the seeds and the stems and the peels and everything that you don't like about it and just get the pure pepper. Normally, I use a paring knife to scrape off all of the blackened skin, as you see here, but the job can be a bit messy. So, if you don't have any gloves like this, I recommend doing it with a paring knife. But, as you can see, with a set of rubber gloves, it is much quicker. You just pull the seeds out, scrape the skin off, and you're good to go. It does make quite a mess though, so you want to clean your cutting board before dicing up your pimentos. You want to go for about a quarter inch dice. This seems to be about the right size for your pimento cheese. Any uncooked piece of pepper you're going to want to discard. You want cooked pimentos. An uncooked pimento is just a crunchy piece of pepper. There we go. As we get through the last of our red bell pepper, red and green pimentos. You can use canned pimentos if you want. Wuss out and not make the good stuff. There ain't nothing better than doing it yourself over a flame. The smokiness, all the deliciousness that, that imparts right into your pimento cheese. We've taken two types of cheese, cheddar and Havarti, and we've made the cheese extra cold by putting it in the freezer 30 minutes beforehand. That way it's easier to shred. So we've shredded our own cheese. And the reason why we shredded our own cheese is because the pre-shredded cheese that you get at grocery stores and, and everywhere is uh, loaded with non-caking uh, additives and you know extra things that you might not want adulterating your pure delicious pimento cheese. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put everything together, starting off with our pimentos and just putting it in the cheese because that's a step one of pimento cheese. So, everybody in the pool, we go in with our red and our green pimentos. Why two color pimentos? Why poblanos and red pepper, red bell peppers? I love the way a poblano tastes. Poblano to me is the ultimate full rounded pepper flavor. It's, it's a little bit smoky. It's, uh, you know, a little spicy. It's a little sweet. It's very savory. It's my favorite. And then red pimentos because pimento cheese, you can't have pimento cheese without red pimentos. You make things too different. Your in-laws come after you and say, what you do to the pimento cheese? You messed up the pimento cheese. What are you doing with the pimento cheese? So now that we got everything in there, we're gonna go ahead and bind it all together. Uh, most people use strictly mayonnaise. I'm going to use a, a blend of sour cream and mayonnaise because I feel like it lightens it up. So we're gonna go in, that looks to be about a half a cup there. And then we're gonna go in with, let's say a quarter cup of, oh, that's open already, a quarter cup of sour cream. Let's just get to stirring and see what the consistency is of this before we add any seasonings. This is a messy job. I'm not gonna lie. There's no, there's no beautiful way to do this. 
I think we're gonna be good. So we're gonna say half a cup of mayonnaise. Probably about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And as much cayenne as you would like. I personally like as much as my beautiful wife Kasten likes, but uh, we're gonna just put a little bit of, that's probably enough. There's a little whisper. A little whisper of heat on that thing. We already got poblanos. Poblanos is already in full effect. This, this and a burger might give you heartburn. Uh, I'm sorry. Grab the Tums, it's fine. Lastly, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit, doesn't need a lot. Cheese is salty, so is mayonnaise. But your pimentos aren't, so. We're gonna wanna test this for flavor. And then we can get our burgers going while this rests. We've yet to reach maximum flavor, but I think this is good as is. We're not gonna overcomplicate this. You ever, you ever taste something that has too much flavor? Like, God damn, put all the flavors in here. All of them. I put all the flavors in. Why they did it. Anyways, let this rest, preferably in the refrigerator, uh, you know, so the flavors will marry and whatnot. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Toast your buns because they deserve it. They deserve to be pampered. They deserve to be buttered, delicious. Slap your buns down like so. That one's not glorious. That one's not glorious. That one's getting glorious. Ooh, that one's glorious. Look at it. Look at the glory. Time for some seasoning. Some seasoning and some pleasing it. We're simple, salt and pepper, both sides. We're adding in a little bit of butter here to aid in browning and just overall flavor of the burger. We rotate the burger 180 degrees because the hot spot of the pan is in the middle. We like the sound of sizzling when it comes around. Ooh, we get it going with the pimento. We'll let it finish. And then we're gonna eat the most delicious burger you've ever seen. I would say condiments really need not apply. I'm gonna add some pickles and some white onion to mine, but this thing holds its own. I'm gonna take some pickle, take our white onion, grab a knife, cause we don't have one. Chop both sides. We want to keep this onion whole because we want those nice rings. And you're gonna want to go thin on these. No one wants to be crunching on onions all day. A nice thin slice on top and you're good to go. And you can see now that our pimento cheese is melted. Oh snap son! This is gonna go fast. So we're gonna chop our pickles. One for me. All right, so we got our bun, crispy, buttery, delicious. All right, I'm gonna go in with one of these buttery pimento cheeseburgers. And go on top with some delicious white onion slices. And I want you to eat it.
You know what? I'm gonna throw a pickle on mine. We're gonna make some more of these. Look at the juiciness inside that burger. Here we go. Holy cow. Look at these, look at these fingers. Make this, set it out with crackers. Also put it on the burgers. You can stuff it inside the burger if you want. If that's your speed, go ahead and do it. But personally, this is my favorite way to pimento cheese, except for a special chicken sandwich that maybe we'll get to eventually. But until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. There's burger all in my mouth still, so I'm gonna sign off, but don't forget to join the Patreon. Check out the Get and Grub group on Facebook. Links are in the description. We'll see you next week. The pre-chef, the pre pre-shredded pre 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 cheese.